Hey there, folks. Downtown Kitchen here. Mr. Sunglasses. Got my 8 bits on. Got some game card coming up. Got my NES controller. Must be time for some NES action. Today we're going to be looking at Dragon Strike. Um, yes, we're in the AD&D series of games, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. So there'll be a couple of them here. Most of them are poop. Um, this one here, um, the original PC release was actually kind of popular. It was more of a sim, though. You actually were like from uh, you were actually the point of view of a dra of a knight on a dragon, and you you know it was a first person from that to the other dragon's head in front of you when you're riding around with your lance. Um, it got some pretty decent reviews. This came out two years later and is a different game. Um, you fly as a dragon and you you shoot stuff. Uh, let's check it out. Is this one of the Poop NES games, or not? One player, two players, that's always handy, right? Ooh, your choices. Sabah, strength, agility, breath weapon, and health, I'm guessing. Gold should have the best in everything, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go with medium. Right in the middle of the road, right? Er, er, ooh, look at that. First target. May the wind always be at your back. Um, up and down make you go higher or lower. Ah. That's a giant, by the way. That's why it looks so big. Oh, evil red dragons. I don't know what the different weapons are supposed to be. I mean, gold dragons can breathe like chlorine and uh, fire, I want to say. Maybe not. Maybe one or the other, and it's just weird, but there's only two elevations, so there's only, like, you know, multiple elevations. I'm killing him. It gives me some health back. I got my little health bar up there. You can't shoot the ships when you're down low, and when you're down low, you also, you can uh, wreck into a uh, ground. Um, it does have the left and right rotation thing where if it's backwards if you're you know, going in the other direction so that can always get confusing. It's, it's always kind of a pain when they do that. I don't know why my breath weapon got bigger or better but cool. Do I have a menu screen of some sort? Nope. Just a pause. I guess I'm supposed to fly around and try to find all the boats to destroy. Because it did say to destroy all the full fleet. I don't see that the turtles would be part of the fleet, but whatever, we'll kill them anyways, right? Um, oh, too high. Yeah, there's like a... Okay, then. Uh, no radar or anything. I'm like dragon radar or... The lower my health is, apparently, the worse my breath weapon gets, which is really a very shitty idea. I mean, yeah, we're kind of in Zelda <laughs> when you had the, the sword that shoots, but your sword didn't get worse and worse as it went on, which is a little bonus to having full health. Not a, uh, a progressively, oh, you're getting worse and worse. Uh, music's a little repetitive. And as I say that, the music changes kind of slightly. That's nice of them. Make me a liar. Row, row, row your boat. I feel kind of like he's like rowing. I don't know. The, the flight, I mean, yeah, you can tell he's flapping his wings. It just seems a little strange. The way it actually all looks. All right. Uh, what, do I just go home? Do I press the, the science button? What here? Am I supposed to be just missing a ship somewhere stupid? Am I supposed to comb the whole area? Finding a ship. Why don't you give me like an arrow or, or anything? Come on. Or is it literally kill everything? Even if it's not a ship. Up oh, there's another ship. Okay. Well, I made a noise, so I guess it means I'm done. But now what? Uh, start and select. 
those don't do anything, so maybe I just gotta make it out of the end of the map. Flying, I'm a flying dragon, dragon, dragon. Yes? Okay. Oh, boss. Whoa! It's a Kraken! Who throws. I don't know what, what the hell those are. Gotta hit him right in his little beaky mouthy thing. Oh, that's what happens when you die. When a dragon dies, if you didn't know, it goes into a death spiral. One life, boys and girls. So, you don't even start with the full health bar. And you have but one life to live. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I do two player. Reset this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Do we start together? Oh, uh, different dragons start at different maps, there is that, but no. You play one at a time. So there, there, there's definitely some variety here, but I want to be a dragon with my friends. So there you have it, Dragon Strike. Um, you play as a dragon, top down, breathing two types of breath weapons on things, and you can go up and down two different levels. Uh, then you fight stuff. This is not the shittiest AD&D game that ever came out. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a fun thing. It just it feels too limited for what it is. An NES game released in the 90s, 92. Uh, yes, I just double sorry, double checking. 92. So it came out in 92. Um, that's yeah, I know. Uh, my son says he didn't like it very much either. Um, could could be more for coming out in 92. Uh, we'll just say that. Is it horrible? No, we've already played some. I mean, you got a bar action 52 aside of being the most horrible, horrible, but we've played some, especially the Adams Family games are kind of the. And this is just kind of a game. I mean, if you like dragons a whole bunch and, you know, want to breathe fire on them, cool. Um, I'm not going to give this game an F. We could give it a C. Yeah, solid C. Mr. Sunglasses. Dragon Strike gets a C. Middle of the road C. Not even like a plus or minus, just a C. Um, well, there you go. Until next time, um, this has been NES Action with Mr. Sunglasses. And it'll be another AD&D game, I know it. And it's going to be bad. They don't get any better. Uh, this is about the best of the crop right here, I think. Mm. We'll see, though. We will see.